So finally it is time for us to do some construction together and construction is great because you are accurately drawing with mathematical tools like a compass for instance so make sure you have a compass and uh, we also need a, a protractor and it's always wise to have let's say a long ruler okay at least 30 centimeters long eh? and make sure you have no little bumps and holes on the flat side okay um, the second thing I want to say by the way a compass they're not very expensive eh? but make sure when you buy one that if you open it that the arms or the legs of the compass don't move okay so that it stays in the position you open it okay so it's better to spend just a few cents more because they're relatively cheap but then you can use it properly that this one doesn't move while you're using it okay and perhaps with a screwdriver you screw the screw a little bit so it's 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 a strong compass okay let's start with construction yeah very quickly um, I said, or I wrote down, let's construct a triangle with a length of 6 centimeters, an angle of 60, and an angle of 48 degrees. Now, how do you approach this? Well, let's start with the length of 6 centimeters, okay? And I take my ruler, and of course, I can draw that length like this, 6 centimeters, or like that. But let's just do it horizontally, 6 centimeters. And I'm going to cheat a little bit, otherwise you can't see it. I'm going to say that one square is one centimeter. It's actually two, but okay. Otherwise it's going to be too small. So oh, one, two, three, four, five, six centimeters, yeah? yeah? And you make sure that you do that with a sharp pencil. Six centimeters, and I'll just label that six centimeters. Excellent. Then we continue. An angle has to be 60, and the other one has to be 48 degrees. Now it doesn't say where or what, so I'll do the 60 degrees here and then the 48 degrees over there. Now how does a protractor work? So I hope you know. You put let's say the heart of the protractor and that looks different uh, for all protractors but this one is over here. You put that in your angle exactly and you do that very accurately. There you go. And then you look. Well 60 degrees. I have a 60 on this side of my protractor but I also have a 60 degrees on the other side of my protractor. And which one should I use? Well, perhaps you also notice that the 60 degrees is accompanied with 120 degrees, making 180 together. And the 50 degrees is accompanied by the 130 degrees, again, 180 together. So if you have a look at your compass, you notice that all those pairs of numbers add up to 180 degrees. Now, if you have to draw an angle of 60 degrees, you need to realize that's an acute angle. So if I draw that angle on this side of my triangle, then the 60 degrees will go to the right into that direction. Therefore, I will use the 60 degrees on this side, or yeah, the 120. I'm just going to put a little line there. Just to tell you, if I would draw the angle of 60 degrees on this side of my line, I realize it's an acute angle, so my line will have to go to, in the, to that direction, then I would have used a 60 on this side of my protractor. Okay, anyway, I'm doing it here, 60 degrees, and so I'm just going to draw a dotted line, and I'll do that in green, because somewhere on this line, my third point of the triangle will lie, but I don't know where yet, yeah? But it's gonna be somewhere on this line, because this is 60, degrees but where on the line that depends on the last bit we have to do because we also had to draw an angle of 48 degrees so I'll do that on this side 48 so I actually put the heart there at my point 48 degrees acute angle so in that direction and you make sure you do that super accurately don't rush these things 48 over there put a little dot you can't see it I can yeah, and then I draw, I'll do that in a dotted line again, the angle, sorry, the line, which makes an angle of 48 degrees for my base. You see that? That's 48 degrees. So what does my triangle look like? Well, this is gonna be my third vertex. So now I can finish it accurately. Yeah, so make sure that is accurately. Yeah, you have a sharp pencil, you can do a better job than I am. Yeah, make sure that is uh, that, that, that connects very accurately. And that is a beautiful triangle. They don't give me any letters like A, B, C. Yeah, but sometimes they do. And then you make sure you label the vertices correctly, A, B, C, or D, F, or whatever they ask you to do, okay? Also make sure to leave those what we call construction lines, because that shows everybody that you have been using 
beautiful mathematical tools to construct and yeah, to create this triangle. Okay, explainingmaps.com, that's my website guys. I have the entire curriculum, IGCSE and GCSE, explained there for you. You can also ask me any questions if you have them. Um, so check my website and like and share this video if it was useful. Yeah, then I can also help your friends. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.